Today we're going to focus on fats. Okay, why are they important? It's the most energy dense macronutrients. They contain lots of calories and they help us to uh, digest our fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Uh, it form our cell membrane. They help us to build our hormones and maintain them. So it's important to have fat in your diet. Right. This is uh, 100 calories of almonds. It's about 17 grams. Okay, so it's about 17 grams. So I say if I were to put this almond, and I was just going to use my thumb, right? Just this portion of my thumb. Probably I'm just going to feel like maybe four or three pieces of them, like that. See? Right. So this is this is not not how we normally would eat because like I say, it's not pure fat like oil. It does contain protein, some trace of carbohydrate, fiber, water, etc. Okay. So if you look at uh, for almonds like this. It's about, you know, you, you, you can just like you put it in your palms. It's probably like a small handful, you know, if you just lay it like, like this, it's probably, you know, about the equivalent of your full thumb like this. Okay. So this 70 grams is about 100 calories. We're going to have an avocado. This is uh, 100 uh, calories of avocado. And then uh, it's about 42 grams. So 42 grams compared to the almonds, which is 17 grams. Basically, this has. Uh, more volume compared to the almonds because you know again it has fiber water content uh, other than fats it has some protein in it as well but predominantly uh, it's uh, fat so now I'm gonna put it to zero I'm gonna pour some olive oil onto this uh, table example this bottle of olive oil the serving here is actually 15 ml one tablespoon okay but the calorie is one two three one two three calories over here so I'm just gonna take out hundred calories worth of olive oil. So if we're gonna pour it here, it will be about 12 ml. Okay, so we're gonna look uh, at this and it's gonna give you 12, yeah? So you're gonna just pour it out first. This is about 10 ml. Just roughly about 100 calories of olive oil. Okay, about here, like this. Right? If we're talking about if we just use, since we did this experiment, you understand, if we just use one tablespoon, like what this uh, recommend, right? Okay, this is not even 15 ml, this is like only 5 ml, right? So depending on, I guess depending on the spoon as well, like you know, if you look at the spoon, right? If you look at the density, this seems to be a little bit bigger, right? It's more concave compared to this one. So it might be a bit of hold a little bit more. Uh, if you're just going to use one tablespoon, it's, it's not going to give you this amount of calories. But again, all nutrition label will be having up to 20% of nutrition error over here. So plus and minus. But generally, what we're trying to do here is to give an interpretation of the volume of the food and the calories. All these are same, 100 calories, about 100 calories. This is 42 grams, okay? This is 17 grams, and this is 11 to 12 grams, okay? So you think about the volume that you want. So to think about oil, right, you have to be a little bit more um, careful because you, know, you can easily overconsume them. Uh, in, in this form. So uh, if you have them, you want to have them in, in your food, in your salad dressing, right? Use it sparingly. And then, you know, if just, just bear in mind, we did this experiment, we know that about one uh, tablespoon will give you about uh, five uh, grams or five ml of oil. Okay, so you don't have to follow uh, the per serving that what they have over here. If you want to, just take note that it will give you, you will take about three of this to reach 15 ml per serving. The, all these are just guide, right? Some form of guide is better than no guide at all, right? If you're going to just uh, go on to a seafood diet, uh, whatever you see, you just eat, uh, the tendency for you to overeat will be higher. So, you know, have some form of guide, you know, be, you know, using a portion like this for protein, a cup size of carbohydrate, fist size of vegetable, a thumb size, whichever you want to use, a smaller one, you use uh, the whole thumb, as long as you keep it consistent because when you keep it consistent over time you know what to adjust if your food varies 
lot day to day. You know, if your weight fluctuates, right, you will not know where to uh, start changing, right? So the goal for this uh, video is to let you understand the volume and the nutrient density, okay, in this type of food. These are just a few simple examples because there are many, there are many other food out there. Hope this uh, video helped you. Uh, to understand a little bit more about these macronutrients today. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, carbohydrate and we'll talk about uh, protein. Thank you.